Houston lost to Portland 104-85. And Chris Paul and Carmelo Anthony combined to shoot 8 of 31 from the floor. And so the Rockets now sit at 1-5 and five on the season, tied for the worst record in the West. Here's head coach Mike D'Antoni on what has changed since last year. Last year we played well. Right now we're playing like crap. <laughs> That's the difference. Just not playing well. It's hard to explain sometimes. We've lost our swagger and we're on our heels. And when you're... When you're desperate, it's good on defense because your hair should be on fire, but it's bad on offense. I think you're, in, you're struggling, and we got to get out of it, and we got to keep fighting. We'll keep the spirit up. These guys are good guys, and like I said, we'll find, we'll find something, and you know, hopefully it's not too late. And, but uh, we got to get back on the horse. We got to get James back. Obviously, that's a big part of our offense. Um, no excuses. I, you know, injuries are part of the game. Luckily, we play 82 of them. You know what I mean? You know, we're going to keep trying to get guys back, but, uh, you know, right now we don't like the way it looks like. How it looks. You know what I mean? If you lose by 15, you lose by one, you still lost. But we just got to get the spirit right, and I think that'll happen as we start playing better. Look, there's only so many days we can keep saying, well, it's early. Give them time. Give Harden a chance to get back. We'll give this team a chance to get back into it. Are you concerned at all, Nick, about a 1-5 start for the Rockets? This is, to me, a far greater concern at 1-5. Then, for example, the team talked about yesterday, the Lakers at two and five, and not because of the one more win, but because of how they, the teams have lost those games. The Rockets are getting blown out. Like the Rockets, they have four home losses already this year. The, by the way, they only lost seven times at home all of last season, and those home losses are all by more than 10 points. They only had one such loss all of last season. Lost by 19 to the Pelicans, 11 to Utah, 20 to the Clippers, 19 to Portland. Yesterday, they never led, and they were down by 28 at one point. Like, last season, they started 25-4. and four. This year, they're 1-5. and five. I understand Chris Paul was suspended, now Harden's injured, but this team is not being competitive in these games thus far. That's why the 1-5 and five is so concerning. It's not, ah, they easily could be 3-3. Three and three. No, they couldn't. They couldn't easily be 3-3. Three and three. It's hard to imagine them getting blown out as many times as they have without having Harden in the lineup. You still think that they are the big three, that being Melo, that being Chris Paul. Harden out of the lineup. Chris Paul looks nothing like a superstar. Melo, like, I, I, you know, I, I, I take exception with Melo. Like, he's nowhere near any type of star player. You know he's not going to be good on the defensive end. They're just not as talented. He can talk about not playing as good basketball. Their roster's not as good. So now, this season, they can't sustain an injury like they could last year. Last year, they had injuries, but they were able to overcome them all except the last one, the Chris Paul, in the Western Conference Final. They're not as good, and there's a certain amount of reality to this, and they're going to be struggling for seeding even when Harden comes back because they got a very weak bench. But this was the team that many people thought was the only team in the league that could really compete with Golden State. This was the one team that we're going to win now, we're going to go after Jimmy Butler. We're going to do everything we can because we have a shot this year to compete with Golden State. What happened? Well, they this for Daryl Morey and for James Harden, there has to be a bit of deja vu. Four years ago, the Rockets were coming off a Western Conference Finals loss to the Golden State Warriors. They had won 56 games that year. People thought they were going to be right back in it the next year. And they went 41 and 41 and crept to the eighth seed. That then the following year they got better. Then they added Chris Paul, and you saw what they had. But there does seem to be a bit of an inability for this team after a great season where you come close to ratchet up the intensity game one the following season. To get it feels like it's such a long trek to where you end up wanting to get to that they're not starting the season off with the requisite level of intensity and attention to detail. Last year Harden missed 10 games. They were 6 and 4. Like they mm -hmm. they, they they managed in those 10 games James Harden missed. So we can't just say, "Oh, you don't have Harden, so that's going to happen." Like this team, you were seeing the warning signs before Harden left the fourth game of the year with his hamstring injury. Yep. And also, Jenna, we sit there and watch the Warriors uh, play the Knicks. There's, besides them being in the NBA, there's nothing similar. They're in the Western Conference. There's nothing similar about where Golden State is. You talked about how much fun they seem to be having. Their little routines they're going. They enjoy seeing, and they don't even have cousins back with them, another all-star. Houston's going the other way. So, no, this isn't the team. There is no team in the NBA. So, unless there's some blockbuster trade, it is Golden State and the rest of them. <laughs> 
That, and James Harden, prior to his injury, was the only guy on the team playing at the level or close level he played last year. P.J. Tucker's been worse this year. Clint Capella, who got that big contract extension this offseason, has not been the defensive player of the year candidate that the Rockets thought he was going to be. You're right that Chris Paul has not looked like Chris Paul yet this season. Now, how much of that was the suspension and how much of that is him getting himself into full regular season shape? I don't know. And Melo's been awful. Like, that is undeniable. Melo's not in the top 130 I was field doing goal my best percentage. Yeah, you did. I, I did my best. Now, I, I'm to you. I, you really I, I said did I was going to try with Melo this year. And you year. did. So, so it, when Harden comes back, if they got someone like Jimmy Butler, could he make a okay, difference? Well, the, the, the Jimmy Butler thing, we would have to redo all the math How about this? Are they one player, one Jimmy Butler player away from I, putting it all back together? From... If they add Jimmy Butler, they they reassert themselves as one of the very, very best teams in the league. But you guys know where I stand on Golden State. I think Golden State right now, as presently constituted, is far and away the best team. And that's before they add DeMarcus Cousins. That's where I think they are. But it also looks like Minnesota is just flatly not going to trade Jimmy Butler. Like Tom Thibodeau, I think, is going to make the owner fire him to trade Jimmy Butler because they're not going to get a better offer than four unprotected first-round picks. That's literally the most picks right. you're a allowed to offer and Houston offered it so I don't think Jimmy Butler's coming what's the biggest issue that this Rockets team has if you could fix one thing what's what's their biggest issue I knew they would struggle losing Trevor Reza you, you just can't just say ah oh, you know oh he wasn't that good but the intangible things that he provided the length the defense the constant knockdown shooting that they could rotate they had another two or three guys who could knock down three-pointers that's a, they don't have enough shot makers if you're going to play that style and you're going to have the analytics and everything, they don't have enough shot makers on that squad. We knew that with the loss of Ariza Mbamute, particularly early in the year, defensively, they probably weren't going to be the same team. No one could have anticipated they'd be a bottom five offense. Right now, they're a bottom five offense. What was the thing last year, C? With 20 games left, they had the best offense in the history of professional basketball mm -hmm. on a per-possession basis. Right now, they have a worse offense than the Phoenix Suns. Like, come on. And so that, that can't just be you've missed some of your best players for a couple of games. It's systemic right now in Houston. And if I were my pal Daryl Morey, I'd be concerned. Can't be getting blown out four home games already this year. All right, let's take a break. Coming back. That being smart Sorry, is overrated. overrated Damaris uh, Thomas making the Texans contenders in the AFC. Is that true? I'm just